Hello, how are you guys doing? You guys doing good? I'm playing something a little different today. Full disclosure, I uh, I got a uh, copy of this from my uh, from Screenwave, my like YouTube network, for the express reason that the devs gave it to them to give to streamers and YouTubers that they're under or that work with them. So um, that's that's a thing. It could color my my opinion of it. That being said, this is like an incredibly common factor of of being a YouTuber slash streamer, so not really. But anyway, this game looks beautiful. Uh, my channel manager was like, dude, you see this game? And I'm like, no, that's super my aesthetic. It's not a sponsored stream, no. Um, not really, because just you get games as YouTubers all the time. Um, I just like to bring it up because some people think that getting a game for like that's like 25 bucks is going to be... Um, a, a thing that's going to change my opinion. Um, a couple things they did note, though, was that there was an embargo up until yesterday. I opted not to play it yesterday because it was the Homestuck Day. I just figured I wouldn't. And um, so I haven't even installed it until today, like a couple minutes ago. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch the screen region. Uh, and it also said that it plays better with a uh, controller. Um, I think it was originally an Xbox game or is it an Xbox game? The aesthetic is fucking beautiful. So like skull horn guy on jet bike thing. I'm about that. What was that sound? It was a, a meaty fart. Look, listen to this bastion ass music. Like, I booted up the game just to get the capture. And saw, heard this, and I was like, oh, we gotta, like, restart the song, man. Short song, but sure. Gets you in the proper spirit. I'm looking for something that, like, just on the outside, it looks like they've got, like, Journey vibes going on. This is another uh, walking game. I don't think so. I think it's a puzzle game. Um, it says driving, racing, indie. So it's tagged as a bunch of different things. Um, kind of Journey, kind of Breath of the Wild. Like, I love the aesthetic. The the weird frames of animations is kind of weird and offsetting, but I think it's intentional. Yeah, honestly, I know nothing about this game aside from the aesthetics or the uh, the art style. Um. So they mentioned in the thing that uh, masks are really important to the culture of these people. So getting your mask and choosing your mask is super important. I don't know if you actually get to choose your mask or if... Oh, okay. Moving Sable. Okay. Pretty standard. A is jump. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Uh... I think this might be a beta build as well. I'm not sure if the game is out. I think it might be. It's um 25 bucks on Steam. Just figure I should mention that first and foremost. This is going to be a thing where I... Okay. So it stays open. I noticed that. Okay, A to jump.
Yeah, I can see why the Breath of the Wild uh, comparison is there. All right. Ass. Well, I guess I go there. I wonder if there's fall damage in this game. Who? What was that? I saw a thing. Oh, it's just a nothing. Alright. Ibex camp. The camera work is cool. Was he levitating that or what? I can feel Jotty smiling behind her mask. Just as I know that she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous and she's so softly, sweetly amused in her eyes. I probably ha have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? I know, I know. It's just Jotty. I told Jotty that I know, but it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. I don't know how you are, but you're going to be nervous until you've started. And then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put your uh, put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. Feel the memory on my fingers. But then I promised you that it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman. And how wonderful the wind felt through my fabric. And suddenly you were there. You sat down and you leaned forward on those little grasping claws on the handles. And you were off. And I remember just thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. That's true. I do do what I want. She reaches out and places her hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. Uh, I think I'm ready. I don't know what we're talking about, but I'm ready, I guess. I think John D. I thank John D. for her encouragement, and I tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know we are, so let's get started. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss already knows. You should already know. Made arrangements for your bike, and Holly has something. Well, let's say useful as it is fun. I think I might suspect what Jotty is saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll tell her I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you even left. Take the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. Choose well and quickly so I don't go far down the wrong path. But whatever you decide, you do it with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early. She knows me. I'll go speak to Halal. H Halal? He Hilal? I'll see. Okay. And speak with Driss as well. I've told him. Okay. I have something to give you. It's a compass to help you. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Oh, that seems good. Good old compass. Just get... Because, yeah, I was, I was a little afraid of looking at that desert and being like, I'm going to get lost. Hey. You. As I approach Hilal, they give me an enth enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilal's verve and vigor on a day like this, but I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves and brilliance. Sable, take this. Okay. I run my thumb over it and find soft electricity like static on cloth. Uh, what's this? You try to sound less confused than I am. I try to sound less confused than I am, but I ask Halai, whatever, what this is. Orthogonal. 
Have I been- I've been mispronouncing it for this long. Jesus. Oh, Sable, I can't leave- let you leave without it. I've just given you a guiding stone. What do you feel? I can tell Halal that I felt, um, electricity? Then you're doing it right. That's what you feel when the stone is open in this. I look at the stone and it seems quite closed. The guiding stones are vessels for their perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to ch channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Claps her hand twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once it's done. I want to hear all about it. And you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple. So go see Driss. It was meant to get that ready for you, yes? Yeah. Okay. So it seems like technology exists because, I mean, look at whatever this thing is. Like, technology exists, but we're keeping it simple. He's down here. There he is. Couldn't remember where his boat thing was. Uh, can I, can I go? Okay, cool. Hey. I told myself not to be too eager, but it's all I can do to not race up. I mean, I kind of did. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Uh, it's Sable. Hello. Uh, hello, how are you today? I asked Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there for a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen. The words spill out. I asked Driss if he might, sort of, possibly, maybe have a bike for me. Your bike! He also says if he's an idea that you just had. Your bike. Yes, of course, your bike. I was meant to, that I prepared for you, because today is your gliding. Yes. Driss nods along with me. Of course, yes, yes, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I, I I mean I arranged it for you and well a sort of tutorial for you. It's not here? Not exactly, but that's because this is part of your guiding. Okay. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking it a uh, test ride on a different bike. I think about it and I find I've never heard of this part of the gliding, but Driss does seem to be earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. He gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. Um, what's the bike's name? Uh, that's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. You youngsters today always asking questions. Now ride the bike through that ring and back. I have some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Can I? I'm gonna try. Okay. Interesting. It doesn't seem like you can. Controls feel fairly smooth. <laughs> I mean, it's got a little bit of wonk to it, but it feels like the appropriate amount of wonk for a jet bike. I returned to Driss, who somehow managed to seem off guard despite that I know knew he was coming. Congratulations! How's your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Sorry you've noticed if you were on fire, even a little bit. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been to Hilal? Hila? Uh... Uh... No, I did. Alright, he did talk to her, right?
Okay, cool. I guess we'll do that. I think I already did, but we'll do it again. Why not? Are you going to give me a rock again? I guess we steal the bike again? Yeah, because I need to go to the temple. Yeet! Fall damage. Do you exist? No. Alright, well, I guess I'll just steal this bike. Can I do, like, Lone Ranger style jump into the bike? No. You have to kind of, like, stand next to it for a sec. Oh, probably because I was also jumping onto it the wrong way. Alright. Temple is through that little, like, ring over there. Is that the normal amount of smoke for this thing? Because it is making some interesting car noises. Oh, it's probably that thing over there. Ooh. I bet you it's up there. This bridge used to go somewhere. Alright, I got an idea. Get a little bit of a run up. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's not gonna work. Maybe there's an easier way out. I don't wanna get off the bike, it's fun to drive. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to. All right, fine. Ah, okay. So I can climb this. That doesn't seem right. Seems like a sheer rock face, but alright. Like, picking a thumbnail for this, uh... This VOD is going to be super easy. Just pick one where it looks neat, you know? That's my normal, like, go-to. Something non-spoilery that looks neat. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay, well, plus side, I didn't die. Downside, I might be stuck down here. <sighs> I might have been able to get up onto that platform had I, like, known that was coming. So I guess if you're watching this and haven't played it yet, aim to the left when you jump off there. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in the sacred place. I know I am her in her sight. Have a rock?
the kind of dingy color palette that most of the game has that's just on the reds makes this neon feel real fucking weird. It's nice. It's supposed to be ethereal. That pink doesn't exist normally here. I'm doing something. I'll be honest, I don't really understand what I just did, but... There were lasers and I floated up in the air for a minute, and uh, now I've got a glowing rock again. So, I mean, you know, I got to float, so I would say that this is probably a, a net positive for me somehow. Okay, we got the guiding stone set up. Oh, oh! Press and hold A to glide midair. Oh, shit, okay. I can fly now. All right, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I kind of didn't think the gliding was as literal as that. It's a gliding stone. Yeah, it should probably do this. In retrospect, this is incredibly fucking obvious, but, you know. And that's how you get out of here. Okay, there's a chest down there. I wonder if that's worth getting. Alright, how do I get back up here? I'm gonna go get it. Fuck it, man. Okay. Where do you... Oh, there's a ladder there. Nice. I got 20... Fun dollars. Okay. And this ladder doesn't require, like, stamina to climb, which makes sense. It's nice. Neat. Was this here? I don't remember that being here before, but okay. Um, looks like I can glide forever, which is nice. And yeah, this definitely feels like a game that would play better on a controller. I am, but um, just if you can, plug in a control. All right, there we go. Well, now this feels really dinky. I like that the UI is really minimal. Um, it was something I really liked about Shadow of the Colossus. And um, it feels nice here because it just tells you the controls when you get on. It tells you the controls when you get off. And it don't really, like, fuck with you too much. You know? <laughs> the bike does like to do little spirals, which is a little bit jank. <laughs> Alright. I like it when games don't clutter UI. This asked me a series of... Oh, right. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I need to, like... It's like riding a horse, yeah. Don't really need to use it for climbing, but it's more fun to use it for climbing. Well, I'm more talking about like that the UI isn't just like all over the place. I don't need to know my HP and my money and my... I, I like it when games don't go super hardcore with the UI. When they don't need to. Just give me the information I need to know and nothing else. When I return to Hilal, I'm kind of hoping that I don't talk to this guy anymore because I don't know how to pronounce his name. I don't know if I can activate the glide multiple times per jump. I'll try it. It's clear that they know that I've just what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Um... Exciting. 
Tell him that hovering is exciting and ramble a moment about all the things. <gasps> oh. Hello? I've been better. How are you? Uh, what was that? So, are you the homeowner? Yeah. Yeah. That's so weird. They hung up on me. I feel like I just, like, I did something I wasn't supposed to there. I suppose it's best that it fades with age, else no one might come back from gliding. I'll just be out there having my... Yeah, he hung up knowing that I owned a home. It kind of feels like, um... When you, um... They're, they're offering, um... Home security, a touchscreen home security thing. After looking over the stuff that the lockpicking lawyer does, I want the dumbest like lock possible i don't want some digital whatever because magnets man holy shit those are so easy to get into i'm probably gonna get more scam calls now because i said yes and that that's me saying yes to like probably them just being like do you want us to call you endlessly every day it was a bot I'll heave myself into chasms for you. You tell them you'll throw yourself into a thousand chasms on their behalf and they giggle. That's what I like to hear. Also, I've only re referred to them as they, I just noticed. Um, I know people manage to keep up it up, but I don't know that... I know some people manage to keep it up, but I don't know how know that. I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes real serious focus. He laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss. You think about that and decide that there's already too much loss on my mind to consider it any further. Saying goodbye to my clan, my family, and my home, and my childhood. To lose a perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice? Try and have some fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all there is out there, but the world's the easier place if you put joy in first. You thank them in advance and for their help, and you tell them that you'll miss them. It will be over before you know it. A warning and a reassuring and reassuring all in one. You say goodbye. He gestures towards the tower, or they gesture towards the tower. It seems Snizo wants to see me before I leave the clan. Okay. Lol. It's so strange being called that. Strange being called glider instead of stable or, or or sable or even clan child. Just try getting used to it. She seems to really like it. Maybe I like it too. My little glider. Gotta go talk to grandma mom. Oh, someone wanted to know if you could do it multiple times. Uh, I need to get high enough up that I could test that theory. Um, yes, it appears that you can turn it off and turn it back on multiple times to get, like, maximum range out of it. It's not like a you press it and then you're done thing. Hey. Sizo, Sizo, Sizo is an outrunner to the Ibexy. But I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall. I think of her more of a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Medicanists, I'm told, are given their posts and their training and their code. Let's go where they're needed. But Saizo has been among us for so long that it's, forget that it's easy to forget that it's an assignment first and foremost. 
As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think it's the perception among the clan that the Ibexi are quite insular. That our designation of Ibexi versus Outclanners suggests some sort of nervous othering of those who don't like us. No base jumper rules. Uh, yeah. Being able to keep doing that is nice. If you, I swear to God with the Amogus. But in practice, such things are more uh, the results of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who will leave behind, but all are welcome to join. I'm always pleased that Cizo si that did. I have no idea how to pronounce her name. How do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Uh, excited. Saizo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm torn between pride and alarm when I may manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Jadi told me how excited you were. And sniffs. And also, Driss told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together. But I think he may have... I knew it. One. I meant to... I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I just tell her I was clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss for his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might just be as scattered. But, and besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hyperbark parts yourself. I'm going to make my own? You aren't going to make your own, but you are going to build your own. Uh, what's the difference? To make suggests you are creating something, but the bike already exists. They just haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass, and you should be able to find it should be useful in finding old parts. Our bikes are reborn in ruined ships, and fragments spread apart. A good place to start would be the ship down near the camp. You'll need to find you'll find another near that great rock on the other side of the canyon. You mean that huge oh shit, okay. Another besides the old dam on the hill. Use your navigation to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Alright. Do most ones make their own bikes? Only the lucky ones. Together we will create something new out of the old. Okay. Oh. Oh! Whoa, okay. What the fuck? Okay. Uh... Wild? And then out near the old dam. I can't tell where it's going. Am I making any progress? I don't think I can place, place it any farther. Okay, I'll buy the old dam anyway. Or maybe I just like go and place it like as far out as I can, like that away. Okay, cool. Now, when I use the compass, I can, oh, I can see them, nice. All right. This is why you give streamers games like this, so you can get fun little glitches like that to appear. That you tested hours and hours and hours of gameplay for, just to find out that a streamer can figure out how to do something fucked up and weird within seconds. Oh god! Okay. A little performance. A little performance issue there. Alright. Looking for three things. One of them is here. I hear a thing. Okay. Wow, this has just been here and no one bothered to look at this? What the fuck is this? 
There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but you notice a blinking flashing light on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Raymond. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it took for us to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if this old machinist told, uh, still holds up. If not, there will be hell to pay. I hear the sounds of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks and a button being pressed, perhaps? Okay, when I push the orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes, Raman. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on R Rohan's mask. It's not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! More cheering. This is the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing's moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that? Uh, check the machinist notes. There's a long po pause. This rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Rum in? That lever, Toma. The one you just ripped out? We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... Okay. I would live here, man. I like little, like, bunk beds in... I mean... Yeah, it wasn't here, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Are you looking for a calibrator? You're immediately on guard, as Sama has always been a mischief maker. Like, I love it when, like, um... You know, like, trucks and stuff have a little bed in the back. I think that's great. The idea of just, like, not sleeping in the same place, but having the same place to go back to sleep in, that's really cool. Sama has always been a mischief maker, and has taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I'm older and more experienced, and there should be more than able to withstand it. In practice, you won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, 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 never. She never fails to get me. May I please have it? You decide to be gentle and ask her, may I please have it? May I please have it? She mimics me terribly. All high and screechy, despite my best efforts, I seethe. Oh well, too bad. Maybe you'll find your own. But I don't think so. She laughs off my irritation. But I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try and change an uh, effect. I'll give you the calibrator. I put my hand... Put on my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Sama. If you give me some beetles, that's a fair trade, isn't it? Something for what you want for something I want? You try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and seal the calibrator or acquiesce. But then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hands. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp will know where I can find some. God damn it, you son of a bitch. Run, child. You better fucking run, child. Oh. I'm not allowed to ram the child. Okay. <sighs> okay. Fine. Also, day-night cycle? Neat. Alright, I need, um... I need beetles. Okay. Gather three beetles. Just find them, forehead. Where did I leave my bike? There it is. There's also a change in music when that's neat. Where was I when I started this game? Like, what was that area? Well, let's go by the dam first. The bike really likes to, like, spin. All 
Alright, maybe there won't be a fucking quest for this shit. Also, I just saw, like, a little wormy fella. I remember reading the guide saying that there was something about little wormy fellows being important. They gave me a little, like, Seems like you could pretty much climb anything in this game. But I'm gonna try and do some big brain thinking here and... Are you a beetle? Come egg? Offered up by chums when planting themselves in the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to float with how light they are. Must be a good place to deliver these, okay? Chum. Why would that be Ringo? I don't understand. I'll be looking for beetles while I'm doing other shit. I kind of get the feeling I don't need my bike for this. Okay. Oh, the beetles. I see. Beetles are in a single little area. You can see it on the compass. Okay. We'll go there after this then. It's the, uh, the big dot there. Oh, the fuck with all this technology. I wonder if this is Earth or somewhere else. You know, like, is this like the far future Earth whatever situation? Okay. Uh, can you take me higher? To a place where a blind men see. Okay, but no, seriously. Whip. This is gonna knock me off, isn't it? Uh, uh, okay, cool. That was good. Red thing looks important. Let's give that a go. Probably has something to do with red door. Bop. Go. Cool. Red thing does have to do with red door. I swear to God, if this bitch is over there being like, Get me more beetles! I'm gonna punt him. No one will ever know what happened to him. Atomic control panel. Neat. I know there's like little like secret areas because of the the chest that I got earlier. So I'm kind of looking to see if I see any, but I don't see any. So I guess that was it. Um, I guess there was a way around. Like low key want to go and check that area over there out. But also, it seems really far. I'm very slow. Oh, right. I can run. Should try that. I didn't see this area a minute ago from the other side. So maybe it just... Ah, it's like a, a straight up wall. Okay. Rest a bit and then jump. Just low enough for me to get under. The music's interesting. Uh, I 
wonder if I can climb that. Okay, gonna have to wait and get more energy. Someone was saying you can glide up straight up walls. It doesn't look like you can do that anymore. <sighs> okay, this does not look intended at all. God damn it. Maybe. Okay, just barely. I just, my jump was awkward. Okay. I feel like I just stole from someone. That seemed wrong. And I think the birds are supposed to be like, hey, hey, jump here, asshole. What's up, Wessel? Alright. I don't think jumping from over there would help any. This game looks pretty. It is pretty. It seems neat so far. I hope it continues to be so. I don't know how long it is. It might be a one-off stream for me. But I at least wanted to give it a go. Those seem important. Like, you kind of got to go out of your way for them. So that probably means they are important. That's standard video game logic. Yeah, worm. I float about as fast as I run. I think. So, if I can float somewhere, it's better. It's the desert version of Korok Nuts. You found me! I still haven't played that game. I feel like it's been done to death. Like, I love whatever's going on with that balloon thing there. That's fucking rad. Okay, one thing down. What about the, uh... Ooh. Uh... Okay, beetles this away. Looks like they might be up there. Alright, well, let's figure out how to get up there. Ow. Looks like this is the way. I'd be down for some uh, Breath of the Wild streams. I need to stream more stuff when it comes out. I'm trying to be more about that, streaming what you guys want actively. Um, so I think next week we probably start... Um, 999. Or not 999, but the next one in the series. Breath of the Wild is always chill. This game's pretty fucking chill. Alright, beetles. Oh, god damn it. Alright.
Okay. What did it say? What do I need to do? Because running up to him and pressing X is not working. There's a trick. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeet! Okay, got it. Alright, we're done here. Hopefully I don't need more. Real bug snacks moment. I, dude, I immediately started thinking of bug snacks. Whoa! Nice. 60 whatevers, or 20 more whatevers. I don't know if Rev's gonna stream that. What? Bug snacks? I already streamed bug snacks. Otter Wilds. Oh. That might be worth doing. Fuck, that was a good game. <laughs> Bike, please. <laughs> That's Tuesday? Okay. Then we got the March of the Mice less than a week from today. I've still got some art to do for it, but I started doing it earlier this month. I'm going to do it uh, here soon as well. Where the fuck is that asshole? Now what? I have them. She likes to play in the cave underneath the camp. Okay. This is not a cave. Well, what have you guys been up to lately? Uh, today I uh, finished recording lines for tomorrow's arcade video. Um, I hate this painting. Um, it's adorable, but I wish I could have done it better. Huh, okay. Red Ibex die. Okay, is this the cave under the camp? Is there another cave under the camp? We're gonna have some tomorrow's or not tomorrow day after tomorrow um i kind of i kind of realized on this painting i'm like i i need to just be done with this painting because if i don't decide that i'm done with it i'm gonna just i'm gonna hate it i'm gonna continually hate this painting i just want to get it out of my life like i need to stop working on it um so i decided i'd, I'd just stop Yeah, like midterms and crap are going on, right? Or is it end of... I mean, I guess... 
Is it in midterms or end of semester? I was watching um, Journal B Badass, which is a name that y'all probably don't remember, but he makes Payday 2 content. And he was complaining about doing his, uh, his midterms. I was watching that yesterday when he was talking about his video. I still watch it. I haven't played... Um, where are you? Who's calling to me? Yeah, I mean, it's it's done. I just kind of hate it. So, I just figured now would be a good time to, like, stop. Um, and then I'm just gonna, um, instead just... We'll focus on just making the art for for the March of the Mice. Start working on that. Starting tomorrow. We don't have midterms here. But yeah, he was complaining about his midterms, so I figured that midterms were going on. But it seems late to be doing midterms. He might mean college. I don't know how old the dude is. Or like what he's going to school for. You don't have midterms. What are you, not American? Are you calling to me? Yeah. Do you know about Sama's hiding spot? I know she spends a lot of time in the cave underneath the camp. You could look under there. Something on your mind? I know. I don't know how she's done it, but that's Evel er Erla over there. She gazed at a tiny speck in the distance, what now I understand is her daughter. Do you want me to get her back? Nah, no, she's fine. I'll get her. I'll just... Parenting. Suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. Ah! Uh, just give me the goddamn part, you piece of shit, kid! Listen, if you don't have tests every other day, how will you know how good you are at things? That's why tests are important. I hear. Okay. Yeet! Is this guy really tall, or... Are you a child? I approach the cartographer. Greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my gray balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? She really is. I nod enthusiastically. It really is an impressive vessel. However, I get nervous imagining being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off one. Best as not to ask right now. Well, good to meet you. I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. That's really weird the way that this game is like written. It's like it works, but it's like why? I suppose you come to all this way to see me. It's probably a map you're after, eh? Uh, I came to see the balloon. Ah, oh, I don't blame you. You're heading on out guiding. I'll sell you a map for Ed Weir for only fifty cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price for the map, but it's too expensive for a pre glider gliding glider with empty pockets. I'll tell him I'll be back. No, I'm pretty sure I've got that. I have 120 cuts, or what I assume to be cuts. Fifty cuts. I have 120, probably. I don't understand money. See you, Wessel. I wonder what else that- I mean, like, I have no other money icon-looking thing. Hey. Later, Wes. How's the game so far? It's it's been interesting. Um graphically I like it, musically I like it. Gameplay wise is a little all over the place. It's puzzly, but like the puzzle is basic platforming. 
Um, the story is fine. I feel like I'm still in the tutorial and probably will be for a minute. And I hate it when games kind of go on too long about tutorial. Just like throw me all the information I need to know raw all at once. And I thought it was doing that for a minute, but it doesn't seem like it is. I have no idea what this game wants from me right now. Oh, it's sort of like, so there's actual like, you know, day night cycle or whatever. So the child is sometimes there. I should speak to Jotty to get some cuts. I see. So I, I, the game doesn't think I've got any because I need to have this conversation with her. I see. People have schedules. Hey, I have more than enough money. Can I have money? Here's some more money. Yeah, thanks. That's a little weird, because I've been actively trying to get money. Alright, I'm gonna go check that cave again. It was like right here. Hey, you son of a bitch! I feel embarrassingly vindicated as I hand Sama the Vietals. But rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrator and begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving! You're leaving and you never come back! Listen right here, bitch. Yeah, I am. It's because of your sorry ass. Comfort her. <sighs> yeah, 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 yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Let's go. It's the one piece. Never came back after her, the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. Or she can tell I'm putting a little extra weight in my voice, which I hope sounds like wisdom of age. You wouldn't leave forever, would you? Not forever. I start to speak, but then Saima cuts me off a wheel. Please don't go. Okay. Promise? I say yes. Good. Then I suppose I'll see you off. Okay. So she's being a piece of shit because he's a child. Yayara. I know it is, but I kept pronouncing it wrong, and I was like, it sounds like I'm saying the Yayo thing. And then I just remember Gilbert Godfrey reading One Piece. And then I couldn't not do that. This game's supposed to have more color. It's night. So it's dark. So everything's like kind of muted. Uh, there'll be more color in the morning. It's a stylistic thing. If you're in a dark cave or if it's night out or whatever, there's less color. You can kind of see the color change when I get in the light versus when I'm out of the light. It's like more color versus less. It's it's more extreme during the day. But yeah, it's 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 nighttime right now. Get down here, you little bitch. Alright, hey, I have money still again. Sure. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but it's been a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of which, keep an eye on the skies. Plenty of my colleagues out there. Are you Tingle? Farewell, child. Thank you, Tingle. Alright. So now I gotta go to uh, the other waypoint. Do I have any other quests that I need to do? Saizo has a task for me. You? No. Which one's Saizo? Find the power supply. So I guess only girls can like float. Oh, does it have the time anywhere on here? Oh, it says four. So it's like four in the morning. Got it. Huh. So that implies like Breath of the Wild, or I mean, uh, Majora's Mask X, like time shit. 
Okay, where's my bike? I forgot where I parked it. Thank God for this. I think I parked it on the other side. Oh, hey, it's one of those, like, wiggly fa fellas. I'm gonna get that. I know I skipped the bike. God, I wish I knew what the fuck I'm collecting these for. They're weird. I think it's on the other side of this place. It's like near here-ish or whatever. Don't ask why I did that. It just felt right. People with the stone can float. The stone is past you when you start your gliding. Fuck your bucket! Where the fuck did I park this thing? Okay, let's just go straight to it. I'll climb shit if I have to. There it is. How the fuck did I get it up here? I completely forgot about that. Oh. Alright. Jesus. Okay. Alright. Okay. Cool. Good. Camera. Alright. There we go. Wonder if they meant that monument or that big, very obvious looking monument. But to whoever was saying, wasn't this game supposed to have more color? Here's the color happening. It's it's cresting over the ridge now. Might be this thing. That looks like a a ship of some sort. It's trying not to climb up there. I wonder, um, right now it doesn't feel like there's a main antagonist. I kind of just feel like I'm, like, prepping for a journey repetitively. Um, there's no, like, oh, man, everything's great here. You're going to start your gliding. Just, you know, really worried about the demons or something. And maybe it's not that kind of game, but, like, um, normally you have, like, a... I don't know. Antagonist that's like at least explained. Who? Shit. I don't think it's that kind of game. No. Okay. Like, it low-key reminds me of, like, Shadow of the Colossus in ways. I do like that they have the crows to signal. Like, there's a lot of thought that went into, like, the design. Like, ivy means climb. Crows mean jump. God, whatever that is. <sighs> okay. Wonder if that goes anywhere. Seems more journey esque. One thing that was cool about journey was the lack of words. There's a lot of words, but they're trying to get you used to the world, I guess, or why anything's happening. Wonder if I could have climbed that. And eh, no, definitely not. Oh hey. Look at that. That looks important. Cuts. Oh, wow. Cash made of a hundred cuts. Nice. 
Dosh. Loads of money. I'm gonna try and like Lone Ranger this shit. Watch this. Okay. Okay, the game did that for me to prevent me from taking damage. Ooh. Ooh. Game did not like that. Game does not seem to appreciate you jumping off things and trying to land on the bike. I did really enjoy, um... journey. It was a really weird... Really weird experience for me to, like, play that when I did. I went on this date with this girl. This is way before Tilda. And she kind of was just like, yeah, you should play this game. And then she just sort of, like, stared at me while I played it. It was a good game, though. I mean, it's a short game. It's like two hours, but... And then she just kind of like was like, all right, well, later. I was like, okay. <gasps> oh, oh. Hello? Hello? I'm all right. How are you doing? Uh, it's AT&T is my electric provider. AT&T? Um, sure. No. No, that's not me. Were you trying? Uh, Jake? J A K E. Sorry, it sounds like someone's like trying to get my attention. Is your name Jack? J Jake. J A K E. Um, uh, Stat Farm. Uh, S T. What's your name? Stat Farm. X. S T A T E F A R M. Okay, and what's your zip code? Uh, it's a New York one. It's uh one 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 two. Um, Pingal, get out of the trash. Sorry, my dog's getting in the trash. Give me one moment. Yes, what's your uh, house number? And yeah, no, I'm sorry. The, the, I'm sorry. Pingal, get out of the trash. My dog is like, I need to get him out of the trash. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Oh, she hung up on me. Jack, Jake from S Jack Stat Farm. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't think of a good... Where does Jake from State Farm live? He's a good neighbor. Obviously. So he's got to live somewhere. Because like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. That's the thing. That's their saying. Um, which is in the new NBA game? Did you guys see that shit? Also, I went with the New York one because I know New York is one 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 one, and so just to make it a little less obvious, I went with two. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a new uh, in the new whatever it's called NBA game, whichever number it is. Like you can do like a career mode, I guess. It's so while you're running around in like the the locker room, like 
there's, there's fucking Jake from State Farm, and you can talk to him, and he sells you on the idea of insurance, and you can get, like, State Farm clothing, like they wear in the commercial, and then, like, your character and the guy both go, and like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, and the guy's like, dude, I knew you were gonna do that shit, oh, man, like, he's excited to do it, and it's like, the fuck? Okay, so Jake from State Jack Star Jake Stat Farm lives in Pingal, Nevada, which is a New York um zip code. It's got to be like Pingal, New York. I'm ready. Let's hand to the workshop. Cool. Thank you for just teleporting me there. She relaxes in the workshop. It isn't particularly rigorous or anxious or 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 anxiously anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Saizo is in her element. Wonder if this is the way it is for all machinists. What you need to understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together, not by chance, but and not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They've always belonged to her. We are doing what we are doing is assembling her from what she's already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We'll find this one's name together. Okay. Um, oh. Relaxes in the workshop, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you gonna be offended if I, like, throw this shit? What do you- Okay, no. Do I like... Okay, hopefully this bike is better than the one I've been riding around. Okay. Cool. So it's got all the bits now, excluding the seat. Samoon. Achievement unlocked. Listen. Tilt her head in a moment, listening closer. Samoon. All at once, I know the hover bike's name. Simoon. I say it in a whisper and let Saizo know. Simoon. See, Simoon. Well done. Uh, what does it mean? What does it mean? You should ask her yourself. She looks entirely serious. The bike, to my enduring surprise, says nothing, even when I lean close. I tell Simoon that I'm eager to get to know her better, and Saizo looks quite proudly at both of us. You're ready for the gliding. May the gods turn their faces for... Uh, what? From you? An odd blessing, perhaps, but Saizo is prone to such things. I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simoon and take care of her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travels, and they will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and take this. It's a machinist badge. You'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth and give them more. they'll give you more badges. You thank Saizo twice for good measure and then give a bow. I'm ready. Okay, cool. So I can go do things. We can play the- we can do the things. Ah, oh, fucking god damn it. I gotta go do more things! Sugar Shock, thank you for the, uh, 
four years of support. Holy fuck, dude. That's a very long time. Thank you, my dude. What was your first stream? Saizo gave it to me. I'm trying to think about going to Master Mass Caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, and don't worry about it. You got plenty of badges when you're out there. Once you got three alike, you could trade it in for that mask. But I don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only your final ceremony will be asked to choose one. How will I choose? You'll have to feel it out. Now. It's time, isn't it? Time to walk through the, uh, th through the face doors of the Temple of Renoa. There you'll assemble your gliding mask and go. Before you leave, they're dyed with traditional Ibexi maroon. I hope they provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you'll no longer be Sable, clan child of Ibexi. You'll be simply Sable, and the rest will come. Frozen bear <laughs> scratch. What the fuck? That was when you subbed. God damn, that's a weird one. Okay, so I can put on these clothes? Some of the menus feel a little on the laggy side, but... I like the outfit. It's a good fit, man. I don't care what you have to say for me. I want to go ride bike. Can I color it? Can I ride it now? I want to ride my bike. Capes are cool. Capes are pog. She looks busy. I should leave her to it. So like... This is the animation style. It's a little on the, the, the choppy side, but it's like intentional. The cape being kind of free-flowing free while the run animation is choppy is a weird choice. Probably have to go talk to, like, Driss and stuff, but I just wanted to get on my way. Might also just have to, like, go. I should head to the temple. Oh, okay, it's, it's just telling me. Right, because I hold down the thing and it'll tell me what to... I swear to God, I don't mean to do this. I was just hanging out. Anyway, what's up? Okay. Well, I guess I'll find my bike. Right. Let's get on my bike. The old busted one. Bye, bitch! This is on Steam and on Xbox. It's 25 bucks on Steam. I haven't seen enough to be able to tell you what it's like yet. It's on Mac OS as well. Okay, it's ooh crunchy times. It's currently on Game Pass. What? No, oh, no, don't do that. This? I should head to the temple to begin my gliding. So not this place. Okay, definitely this place.
There's some performance issues that might require a patch. All right. This is like where I started the game. And thing was leading me here, so maybe I go back in here. Is this what you want, game? Oh, yeah, no, that looks pretty definite. Camera angles are very like Nintendo 64 Zelda games. Okay. So. I assume I need to climb you. I'm just going to go up until it won't let me go up anymore. And go from there. Um, oh, chunky times. I don't really know why it's such a, like, chunk Saurus about shit right now. That's a little weird. Is it all the light effects and stuff? Is that what you're being chunky about, game? Alright. Okay. Okay. Cool. I got one part of the mask in place. It's rendering a lot of the environment. I think when I hit that chunky, it's like I'm rendering a new area or something. And it's got dynamic lighting, so it's like, you know. Oh, shit. <sighs> okay. Gotta get that SSD. I do have a solid state drive. game has a very low native resolution. There's a lot of upscaling going on that makes it HD and stuff. Weird. And I think there's one more thing that I need to climb in the back. Yeah, looks like there's one more element. The... Graphics thing seems to eat up a lot of resources. I do like that the, the game is basically black and gray right now. That's really neat because it's like dark and inside and night. I do like that, but it is a bit of a chunk of source of a game, and I'm not entirely sure why. Why is it black and white? Because it's dark? The game's color palette shifts depending on how bright it is in a room. Or whatever. Okay. That made a happy little Zelda sound.
cool mask. Alright, and that was on the front side? Someone was asking me to play, uh, Pathologic. Just thought of it when I saw all these faces. I like that this one's broken, but it still has, like, the mask where it should be. But this asshole doesn't get one? Fuck you. A blank mask worn by children of the dunes. Most kids customize theirs for fun, but some traditional clowns frown upon that self-expression. Nice. I look rad as shit now. Horns are cool. Agreed. Mass really should have horns. I know, right? Dude, I want some. I want a mask that has horns on it that I wear out in public. And it's cool and not dumb. You know? That's the main thing about masks and capes. Is like it being cool and not dumb. Because a lot of the time it's not cool. Like that skateboarding guy I saw the other day. That was cool. That guy had the right fucking vibe. What the fuck is my bike? Wait, where the fuck is my bike? It's not even on my pip anymore. And I guess I can just glide there, but... Someone stole my fucking bike! I was on a spirit quest or whatever, and you stole my bike? The fuck, guys? He didn't even give me a bike! I had to make my own goddamn bike and you stole that one too! Fucking hell, dude! Well, you're not getting it back then. Tenju 3 sucks. What's wrong with it? I haven't played it, but sure. I guess there's a message for me. Hello, Sable. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we'll have gone. The gliding is a journey that must be done alone. Certain nuance lost in transmission. For that, I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear cracks in her voice and not run weeping into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things... You will always carry with you, as you do with your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go to see Utari, the machinist at Burnt Oak Station, and among Saizo's closest friends. Utari is a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get to another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, we'll send another message once we've returned to Ewir. Ewir. So keep an eye on post boxes and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath, and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Shit controls in Tenshu. Um, can I just get my bike? Why am I running? Where are you running to? Leave the canyon. No. Oh, 
Oh, oh, there's my bike. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. Oh, it's so less jank than the last one. The last one felt like shit. This thing rides like a fucking dream. Holy shit. Z zoom. I wonder if it'll do the weird thing too. Hold up. I'm going to try and get it to do it. Whee! Yeah, it does little spinny things. Yeah, this one feels a lot better than the last one. Like, it just drives smoother. Alright, I guess I'm leaving the canyon now. <laughs> you can also press A to, like, do a quick break. It's meant to, like, allow you to, like, shift. Try spinning, that's a good trick. This song is on YouTube. Neat. I see a weather balloon over there, so I'm gonna go and get that. Also, the music gets louder when I use the bubble thing. What am I most stoked for on the direct? I think uh, Bayonetta, probably. I've never played a Bayonetta game, but that one looks good. crazy that Shigeru Miramoto got up on stage was like Seth Rogen is is DK and then fucking left like that's a Chad move like holy shit what the fuck why is it got like derp music going Greetings, the cartographer. You greet this cartographer shyly, a little cowed by how alone we are up here, and how intimate it feels, despite it being so much of my about my gliding. She responds with what sounds like a warm smile. Hello there, guide glider. Thanks for taking all the time to climb all the way up here. Surveying gets a little lonely sometimes, you know. I tell her that I do, given how lonely it gets out on the sands sometimes. 
I hope the moon doesn't hear. So what is it? What do you need? Can I buy a map? Sure. And what is this thing? Okay. You ask if there's anything worth to look near by. She chuckles to herself. Of course. You don't think I'm just standing up here for nothing, do you? Have you ever seen the Great Wind Tower yet? You get there and you can see for ages. A burnt old station is close as well. But you never guess why it's called that. You think about it, but she goes on before I can shout out my prediction. You know, rumor has it that they can lift 100 times their own body weight. I can help you, Glider. Okay. <sighs> there it is. I don't know why it thinks my bike is somewhere else. That's good. She's got very Link energy, you know, this main character. <laughs> well, I bet you it's over there. I think I figured out maybe how to make it do barrel rolls. It's something about it going like nose down into the ground. And you can kind of control the up down like of it when you like are flying. It has something to do with the camera angle as well. I'm not really sure. There's also a little bit of a, like a forward turn maybe. I'm trying to get it to do the little rotate. I mean I really shouldn't because this game is being real pretty at me. And I'm just like crash the thing. Make it break. Uh, nothing in there. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, someone was asking me to stream Pathologic, and I don't really feel like Pathologic is meant to be fun. That's something I didn't get the first time I played it. Um, and maybe I'm not... Seems like this is a thing, so... Oh, I love that. Beater, beetle bike booster. Beetle bike front. Wings. Huh. So I can upgrade my bike with beetle bits. I had a lot of fun with my summer car. Maybe that's not the right word that I should be having. Yeah. So I can get all of this, right? I have just enough to get all of this. Cool. There's a machinist I need to talk to. That's a cool word, machinist.
Like someone who makes things with machines. Hey, it's fucking Austin. There's a giant ass crane for no goddamn reason. I had an experience with my summer car. I enjoyed it though. I mean, I guess the game can be enjoyable without it being fun, right? You look like you know something about things. You're late. For what? For our meeting, one another. You ought to have come here sooner. How do you know me? You don't know y I don't know you yet. Not yet. Relax on what... Uh, wait. I wait for them to explain themselves, but they seem to wait for the same. I briefly feel a hint of shame, but I remember I've been doing... I've been late among the Ibexy things I've slipped up doing. But I dismiss my doubts. As I recall, I have no idea what this strange... Who this strange mechanist is, and I ask them. Uh, yes. Right? No, it was your hover bike. I heard it the first time months ago. I felt the shape in his voice of her voice. Sorry. You tell... It was not Simone you heard. For Saizo and I only built her a few days hence. And they waved their hands at me in a hurried dismissal. Does Saizo see you so little? The voices of our machine are eternal. More ancient than even our forms. I hear them. And I always have. And yours I thought would revisit me sooner. But here we are. Now I must speak on why you have come. You need to converge atop the wind tower. Okay. Let me customize my bike. Oh, I see. It changes like stats. These are stat things. Okay, so this gives better handling. Um, less max speed, better handling, better acceleration. Sure. Okay. I mean, I kind of want to go all Beetle just to see how, what it's like. Even if it's not as good. That seems better. Oh, I like the front. I think I like the old wings, though. Yeah! You see that fucking trick right there? That was good! Alright, I'll keep the front, but I do want to change the back. Or the mid. Alright, so I need to go see the, uh, Temple of the... Something or other of the Wind? Where the fuck is that? Kind of reminds me low-key of, like, um... Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind? Alright, if I were a something or other Wind Mountain thing... Where would I be? That giant-ass tree thing looks important. Maybe I can just ask her to tell me more. Tower, yeah, tower. I'll be waiting for you, travel. Okay. Alright. So I've got a quest marker now. I, I just needed to ask where the fuck to go in the first place. Watch out, kid! And decapitated. Watch this shit. Oh, I was trying to get a good spiral going.
Yeah, I think I like the setup I got for now. I don't think that this is the Tower of Wind. It's probably on the other side of this shit. The driving feels good. I like that they gave, they let you know, like, the tutorial was useful. It let you know a lot of information about the game, how you pick up beetles, and uh, that there are secrets to go and get, and that you can upgrade and change the bits on your bike. I just kind of wish it wasn't an hour and a half. It's like a really long time to invest into a tutorial of a game. Um, that could have been a little faster. Also, with the passage of days being so fast in this game, it was like, it felt like days and days and days were going by while I was playing. To be fair, Breath of the Wild is like that too. Fair enough. I don't like games with long tutorials. Um, I prefer it when they just sort of go, here's what you gotta do, here are the controls, slap me on the ass and tell me to get on it. You know? Like, that's that's what I want from a game. When they, you know, make it take too long, it doesn't feel great. But nothing that they made me do there was, like, unnecessary. Like, none of it was like, oh, I didn't need to know that information, I feel like all of it was necessary. Because, like, probably need to know how to get beetles for some reason. Looks like I need to try and climb up this thing. So let's try and cheese it and just get on up here with the bike. Okay, <laughs> doesn't look like the game wants me to do that. Okay. Games where the tutorial is spread throughout the whole game. It's a little weird when a game's tutorial is still going on after like hours. Can't remember what game it was that I played recently that was like that. I was just like, wait, this is still a tutorial? I like more tutorial than what RimWorld gives you, but um, perhaps less than this game did. RimWorld just sort of goes, I'm not going to explain shit. Figure it out on your own, kid. This game, this game is like, here's everything you need to know about this game. Alright, yeah, I can't cheese it. RimWorld has a great tutorial, you refuse to play it. Okay, well... Yeah, that sounds on brand. Okay, so all that fucking around with the bike was kind of useless because there's no way I would have done that. Okay. Like, I don't think I could have gotten up here with that. Kind of reminds me of the Mad Max game from 2016 in a less dire world. I never played that, but I heard it was really solid. Like, for the most part, anyway. Is that really, like, what, seven years ago? No. Five years ago. Jesus, fuck. What the hell? God, that movie fucking slapped. I need to watch it again. 
If you haven't watched... The new Mad Max movie, Fury Road. That movie was fucking good. They're selling the cars now. I don't know who George Miller is, I'll be real. Um, but if you mean just like general ramshackle vehicle appearance, like that's been a thing for a minute. George Miller was the director of all Mad Max movies. Okay, cool. So that's that's fair to say, yeah. He's kind of the guy who pioneered that aesthetic, so. Specific plot beats got stolen wholesale. That, that sucks. He's the director of all the Mad Max movies, Babe and Babe 2, and Happy Feet. Like you do. I do like the seamless transition between open, like, world and, like, puzzle area that I need to defeat. Um, that's neat. <sighs> okay. Ooh. All right. Oh, really? Hmm. Nice. Bouldering top. Don't want to help me climb further. The hand wraps and lightweight fit of the gear are great for scaling. Okay. So it's like a different aesthetic? It's just aesthetic thing. I kind of like the other one better. I'll be real. Like, I like the default, like, red cloak thing. That's cool. Is that a cleared? They are cleareds. Turn into a square. It's cleared. God, that guy was fucking weird. You think he was fucking around or you think that guy was real? Does anyone even remember that shit? That's old fucking Vinny memes. Oh, God. Okay. Into a square sheep cleared. I'm not even doing his voice right. Square sheep cleared. He's got to talk funny because that's the only way you can like psychically change the 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 shape of clouds. They only responded to you sounding like a complete jackass. I guess it's part of telekinesis is to sound like an asshole. <laughs> Cleared, disappear, turn into a square ship. Cleared. So, like, yeet or like. Not sure if I was supposed to like keep that egg, but it's fucking gone now. Cleared disappear. Change into a square ship. 
Bloop. Yeah, whatever was supposed to happen with that egg did not happen. Machinist top. Okay. So you can really get, like, an aesthetic going. Like, not only for your mask. I like the idea of mask customization. And outfit customization. I don't know if I'm going to find one that I like better than... Red cape and hood combo. There's nothing stopping me from wearing a cape and mask. Aside from, like, I, I would want a really cool mask. And not, like, a default basic bitch mask. Yeah, they, they kind of fucked up by giving me the coolest fucking outfit right from the get-go. And then go replace it. It's like, no, this shit's great. Oh, I must have approached this the wrong way entirely. Also, are you supposed to look like this? Because that looks wrong. Oh, hey, it'll. Hold up. Fucked around and found out, and it worked out. There we are. Hey, bike. S Simone. Alright, let's go. It's a neat little game. I don't know how it is for streaming, but it's it's a nice comfy game. I could see myself coming home from work and like relaxing with this game. Except for like I stream instead, so it's not really a But it's like comfy in that like okay. Nice. Comfy game. What is that? What the fuck? Uh... It says I can talk to it. Okay, we'll just ignore that. The game's a little... buggy. There's a dialogue prompt, but I couldn't get high enough to talk to it. I like the vibe they're going for. I'm not sure if it's a great stream game or not. But it's definitely a fun game. I like the music. I like pretty much everything that's going on with this game. Feels a little clunky around the edges. Sometimes the frame rate drops. Um, I think a performance update would really help this game out. The art style is beautiful. The music's video, or the music's video, apparently. The music is really good. Um, like really no complaints, um, aside from some of the, uh, well, I think 
the game probably picks up now that like we're done with the uh tutorial shit and we're just into it all the music was performed by Japanese breakfast you say that as if I know who that is apparently it's a a thing like, whoever that is is important you know what I mean You're saying it like, oh, it's it's by like Danny Elfman. It's like, oh, I know who that is. Also, I know I don't have to park here. There's no rule that says I have to. It just seems right. You know what I mean? Let's RP a little. You did it. Thank you, and well done. Both of you. Did you have much trouble? Not at all. Well, of course not, and why would you? You were meant to do it. Now, for your... No, I won't say reward. Now, what you're owed... A machinist badge. You may have been late in coming, but here you are where you're meant to be. I give you this badge, not only in recognition of where you've been but and what you've done, but in honor of one of many possibilities. That you may... If you so choose, become one of us who speak the unheard language of Samoon and her vast connections. The badge is not is but one, but you'll need to earn more from the others who carry them. But if and when you do, the caster will know that you have chosen to warn the mask of a caster or a machinist. I thank Yutari for it and tell them that I have much to consider. But for just a moment, I hear the faintest ringing in my left ear, distant and deep. Like the river below the sands. Listen. Neat. So yeah, I guess we collect three badges of different types and then we can get our, our mask. And it seems like the end game goal is to go get three masks of some type or another. I'm gonna assault that guy. Okay. No one seemed to give a shit. It bounced off of him, so it made some sort of connection. That looks important over there. How do I save slash quit? Ah, there we go. System, save. Yes. And then exit. Exit. Um, the end goal is to choose a mask. Right. You'll get a lot of options. You get to choose one. Seems neat. Deja Voodoo, thank you for the eight months of support. As far as is this game worth or not, I think uh, just as a like casual review, I feel like I barely scratched the surface of what it is. Um, but I got the general vibe around. You you get a quest from someone, you drive your jet bike thing to a, th a place, and then uh, once you drive your bike there, you do a little bit of like platform puzzling. You get to the top, and then you climb all the way down, and then you report back to whoever gave you the thing. That seems to be how it works. Um, and the general thing, I think, is not really the destination, but the trip is what they're going for here. Like, it doesn't seem like combat's a thing in this game. So if you're looking for combat, that doesn't appear to be a thing. They would have taught me the tutorial how to fight. It seems like you just want to, like, you know, drive around and enjoy the world. And, yeah, it's comfy. It's a comfy game that's nice and slow paced. It would be a good game to, like, maybe get a badge uh, after work, you know. Chill out, get a badge, go to bed after a hard day's work. That feels comfy to me. The music is really solid. The art is really solid. Seems... 
seems good. But anyway, I'm going to go and bounce for now. Um, let me see if there's any art. Does not appear like there is. Um, someone's got to be live right now. Ah, okay. Vinny and Joel and Mike and Ima are all streaming. So that's, that's what's going on. Okay. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.